wish I could capture this moment. Hello, and uh, welcome back to this playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. I was um, going to go on to Meridian, but I noticed there was a metal flower right here that we had passed by and I didn't pick up. And then I noticed this settlement here, and I wanted to check it out, and I was like, well, this is really cool. Look at this. This is like... There's uh there's a little show going on here. I'd like an opportunity to share a drink with Aaron. There's a man who knows how to enjoy life. There's a little show going on here. May the machine spirits grant you favor. Uh this seems to be a little uh, kind of tavern. This isn't up to their Or uh cafe here. Uh there, still got a pull, but there appears to be this is a bar like this place. over here. I kind of like it too. This is cool. Um, there's a bunch of merchants over here. Uh, another little bar. <laughs> here. King Abad's decree brought the hunter's lodge in line. Here they are. Uh, there's a sleeping quarters up here. Place for people to bunk down for the night. And then over here, th I guess this is the merchants are uh, all over here selling various stuff. Uh, this guy's selling machine parts, apparently. Get all kind of machine parts over Tomorrow, here. Tomorrow, you'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. And. Uh, this is where I I sold some crap I didn't need over here. Oh, and I found a glyph over here. Oh, I've already I've already. Um, oh, there's that metal flower I found. Uh, here's this glyph. And it talks about uh, the various tribes and their thoughts about what the old one were like. Uh, it doesn't say exactly what the Karja believe. It talks about what the Asaram believe that the the old the world was a machine and the old ones neglected it to take care of it and and it fell into repa disrepair. And so the old civilization collapsed. I'm wondering if they mean... And when they talk about a machine, they talk about the seasons and the circling of the earth around the sun and all of that stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, that points to an ecological disaster. And, uh, and then they talk about the uh, Nora and their beliefs in the All-Mother and how and all that that we've pretty much heard. Uh, it talks about the Banuk and that uh, the old ones grew complacent. Uh, their pride was undone. It doesn't say how. And it talks about Uteru. Uh, anyway, so we found this glyph here so I, I just was like wow this is really cool um, I really like this but we are moving on to Meridian and um, I think what I'm gonna do is there looks like there's a village right there let's uh, jump over to this site it's on the path to Meridian and let's take a look at that village there I think they've done a wonderful job here of populating these little outposts. Very nice. Alright, so that village is up here. Keep that for later. <laughs> Another 
battle going on out there. Oh well. I want to go up to this village here. Um, and I have, have I already missed it? Oh, no, we just have to go around the bend here. And apparently there's a quest in here, I think. Yep. Some carvings there. Hi there. Uh, I've seen better. Okay. So apparently this is a quarry. I've seen this four times already. What's this? What what is this place? I don't know. They keep barrels here. I love this bit. Uh, do you think there was a show earlier and we missed it? This must be a quarry. But there is a quest oh, here. Wonderful. Who are you guys? You must be the guys I who love work bit. in the quarry. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, no, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said, No, that's just stupid. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, that's nice. Blood on stone. Well, actually, this sounds really kind of interesting. Sounds like it might be a ruin that we could look into that was exposed by the blasting. And released some machine, that's what it sounds like. Alright, um... Investigate the quarry for a lead. Oh, that's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. All right, well, there's the quarry. Easy, easy. Examine the explosives, examine the mound. No. All right. It's 
strange. Where did this mound come from? Sounds like a machine to me. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. You're a big one, aren't you? Let's find out about this guy. <laughs> uh, okay, what the... Rock breaker, huh? Alright. He's uh, weak to freeze. He's got a digging arm. Tear. Billy to burrow. Oh, if we could get rid of that, that'd be really sweet. Uh... A fuel sack. Okay. Uh, we want. If I can get rid of his claws. Throw things at us, huh? Nah. Nah. All right, did we get rid of his claws? No, apparently not. Yeah, we did. All right, so he's weak to freeze. Uh, what we need uh, is uh, our sling. Uh, you and what are you going to take the place of uh, the rope caster? And we want a uh, freeze. No, no, no. I got rid of his, uh, whoa. I'm pretty, I thought I got rid of his, uh, his ability to. Yeah, he's coming on.
Dude needs to surface. Uh-oh. God damn it. God damn. rid of those his ability to borrow I got rid of its ability to burrow. Whoa. Well, we got it. Got the bloody thing. Uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, we figured out what happened to this guy's buddies. Is there anything else in here we should worry about? There's some supplies. Oh, there were these blaze canisters. I'm well. Might have been able to use them, but the action was moving too fast. I don't think I would have been able to. Oh, what's this? Boy, I had to hold that a long time. I wonder why. Oh shit! coming back is it? it says fenced off from machines look there's a hole in the fence sorry I need you <laughs> and I did definitely needed fatty meat ah uh -huh, you don't look very well fenced off to me We were supposed to also investigate the explosives. Uh, I don't see them around. But I guess it's kind of a moot point right now, huh? I thought I had gotten rid of its ability to burrow. Blaze, 
Enough for quite a blast. And so that is the explosives, okay. Now oh, we got some resources out of it anyway. Okay, this is the way out. It's like a rock breaker, I think was the name of this thing, right? My goodness. Is that not the... Oh, here we go. I think. Yeah. Okay. No. Shit. Was that the way out? How do we get out? Our little quest... Oh, here we go. There's our quest marker. show it's a bit frivolous isn't it did you just see what happened I've did you never seen a machine like that whoa nor a hunter so bold take this it's from the quarry stores but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it may you walk in the light friend especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Wow. My goodness, he, so he did see it. Oh, now now there's people gathered here. That, so I did miss out on something by arriving at night. Look at this. Here they are. Oh, <sighs> nice to cool. my feet for a minute. It's cool. And there's a campfire around here, right? Somewhere? Right here. Okay. Let's uh, end this episode right here. I, I bit off. I thought this was going to be a sightseeing tour because I wanted to see this. Since the last uh, Karja village we ran into was so interesting, I thought, well, let's just go over here. And I thought it was going to be a boring episode, just some sightseeing, but <laughs> holy cow. Anyway, that's enough for now. Until next time, have a nice day.